All right, YouTube, today we're gonna swap out both membranes on that six stage RO system here in the fish room. The TDS is starting to get a little high. Stick around and check this out. All right, YouTube, well, the time has come to replace the RO membranes on my bulk reef supply uh, RO system. The TDS has been measuring about 30, and that's after a clean sediment and carbon block replacement. Um, I've had my bulk reef supply six stage RO system for about five or six years now. And uh, up until just a couple months ago, uh, I've been getting single digit TDS out of it, but all of a sudden it spiked up replace the media inside or the cartridges and it's uh, still pretty high so tells me that maybe one of my RO membranes are a little bit compromised got too dirty just at the end of its life I have two RO membranes on my system so I get 150 gallons of water per day uh, so I have two new RO membranes some new carbon blocks and new sediment filters in here and uh, this all comes from bulk reef supply Take a quick peek at uh, make sure we got everything we ordered. There is one new 75 gallon per day membrane, another new membrane. They're not cheap. Uh, this is a 5 micron sediment filter and a one micron sediment filter and uh, let's see did we go with five micron this is a five micron carbon block and a one micron carbon block actually should have got two one micron carbon blocks since my last sediment filter is a one micron but they cost a lot more money anyways uh, it's always good. I'm going to take this off the tripod real quick. I've already pulled the RO membranes off my RO system. And uh, I do want to point out something. When you're replacing this, it's always good to mark the lines so you don't confuse how Humpty Dumpty goes back together. And then what I also do is I also take some pictures and video so again just to be double sure make sure you know where everything goes back clearly mark everything I mark the end of the membranes so I know which one is RO membrane 1 which one is RO membrane 2 so we're gonna go ahead and get these opened get the new RO membranes in there and put this system back together and hopefully we're going to get a much better test on the TDS meter. Out with the old. In with the new. I always like to hit the O-rings with just a little bit of Vaseline. Helps them seal pretty good. You can also use water just to wet them a little bit, but they're going to seal much better with a little bit of water or Vaseline or something on there. This one is ready to go back on. All right, canister number two, or RO membrane number two. 
open it up, just grab it with some pliers. And just give it a light tug and it'll come on out. Same thing, just a little bit of Vaseline on those O-rings will help them seal better. Not too much though. Away. And it just push, pushes down in. I don't know if the camera angle's right or not, but down in the canister there's a little area for this nipple to go into. You need to make sure that that goes down in. Push it in place. There it's in. And tighten the top back on. That's as far as it goes. Number two is ready. It's time to start reconstructing the RO system. Should be ready to go. Okay, so we have the new RO membranes in the RO system, and I want to point out one thing that you might want to try before you run out and get a new RO membrane. Uh, if you're like me, over the years I have dropped my TDS pen several times, and it could be if you're testing your RO water and it's not registering a low number and you're getting a really high return. Before you go out and buy new RO membranes, which can be expensive, um, you might want to check the calibration on your TDS pen and just simply pick up some TDS calibration solution. Uh, I just paid like five bucks or something like that for this. I can't remember if I got it on eBay, Amazon, Ken's Fish, or where I got this from, but um, I tested my TDS pen before I bought new RO membranes, and lo and behold, mine was off considerably it was registering about 290 in this 342 parts per million solution now on the back of your tds pen there's a little phillips head um, screw inside this little calibration hole right there so you just put a little screwdriver in there and then turn clockwise or counterclockwise depending if you need to go up or down and really you just want to get within a point or two of the 342 this is pretty sensitive so if you get uh, if you get to 342 exactly, run out and buy a lottery ticket. I think I got mine to 341. But anyways, even after recalibrating my TDS pen, my RO water was still testing high. So again, I did retest it right before 
I swapped out those RO membranes and it was registering 39, okay? Uh, I do have some new solution here, or new water here. Uh, it hasn't been running very long. I like to have it run a little bit longer to get a more accurate reading, but we're just gonna go ahead and test this and see what we're getting now. And it's flopping between eight and nine. I don't know if you can see that at all. Kind of holding at nine now. So that's down quite a bit. Now, I didn't swap out or change the sediment filter or the carbon block filter. I usually don't do that until I start to get into uh, double digits. So once this creeps up to 10, 11, 12, then I'll swap out the carbon block and the sediment filter. But this is a much better reading than what it was and where we started at the beginning of the day. Okay, so over here on the RO system, I noted the date that these membranes were replaced. So now I know exactly how old they're going to be. You can see I have the old carbon blocks and sediment filters in here. And um, this one's getting fairly dirty, as you can see, and a little bit of buildup on that sediment filter and that carbon block. But until I get into the double digit readings on the TDS pen, there's no reason to throw these away as long as they're doing an adequate job for the fish that I keep in my fish room right now. If I was keeping Caradina shrimp or a reef tank, I would definitely replace them right now. But these do cost money and there's no reason to throw money away until they're ab it's absolutely necessary. Now the sediment filters, the five micron sediment filters don't cost a lot. They're maybe three bucks. I think the one micron sediment filters are like five bucks, four or five bucks. I think they're five dollars. Yeah, I could be wrong, but the carbon block filters, uh, the the five microns are about eight dollars, but those one micron carbon block filters, they get pretty expensive. So don't want to throw those away until it's absolutely necessary. So I'll just take these, I'll tuck them away for another month or two until that TDS pen reads, you know, 10, 11, 12, something like that. I guarantee when I put this in the RO system, that reading is going to come down to probably three or four, I guarantee. But um, the RO system has been an invaluable piece of equipment in my fish room. Without it, there is no way that I could keep the fish and the species that I choose to keep. Uh, I've kept discus. It was really necessary for the discus. It's necessary for the zebra plecos and all the other plecos I keep. It's also important and uh, necessary for the shrimp that I'm keeping as well. So uh, take care of that RO system and it will last a lot longer and uh, give you plenty of years of um, uh, you know good water and um, good results. So Anyways, I appreciate everybody watching my channel. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and post them down below. Hit the like button on your way out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you consider it. Just take a minute, go down there and hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate your support. And like always, folks, until the next one, thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you later.